Welcome guys to today's class. In today's video, we want to discuss another important experiment in practical phases, and that is experiment on obstructed simple pendulum. In this experiment, we will see what we mean by obstructed simple pendulum. It has this objective, apparent to set up procedure. Yes, let's see. Objective. To determine the relationship between the periodic time t and the length y of the point of a simple pendulum allowed to oscillate. Look at the apparatus setup. Let Ritter stand on a what? On a desk. This is a desk. A table or desk. Then look at the thread holding the pendulum bulb. This is the bulb. Look at the meter room you will use to take your measurement. Look at the thread. Look at the spill cork. Now, when you use this to perform your first experiment, you will also use it to do your second experiment by following step two. We will still discuss it and look at the movement it will follow, the direction of movement it has to follow, to and flow. And this is the stopwatch that we use to take our time. Okay. Step one set up the simple pendulum with length L equal to 100 cm or greater with knife edge mounted at the edge of the table. You set it up with the length L equals to 100 centimeter. Then oscillate the whole pendulum and determine the periodic time TL by timing 20 complete oscillation twice. What it means is that we what? We displace it at a small angle. We displace this thread at a small angle so that it will what? Start oscillate for 20 oscillations. And we will do it two times. Afterwards, Shift the stand away from the edge of the table until y equal to 40 cm. You have to shift the stand away. And so when you shift the stand away, it will get to a point that this thread will be touching this table. This thread will not be touching this table. Are you getting it? So what you now do is that that point is touching the table. You have to what? Hold it there and make sure that only from here to here is now oscillating. And that distance from here to here for the first one will be 40 cm. It has to be 40 cm. How do you get the 40 cm? If your thread is not too long, what you have to do is that you lower this your 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 retort stand okay so once you're able to work lower this retort stand it will make this rope to be longer and so you need a higher table or desk to keep this retort stand and perform this experiment so that when you lower it as the rope is going to work be longer it will not be touching the ground are you getting it stay behind him the reason why you have to lower it is so as to be able to get your 40 cm when you what shift this little stand inside and what clamp this thread clamp it at this what at this edge of the table when you clamp it this part up will be stationary they will not be moving again only this part down will be what willing to what oscillate or to move to and fro motion are you getting it and so that point you clamp till down you have to measure 40 cm first do the experiment two times measure at five do the experiment two times measure 25 and so on are you getting it so 
It's very important. So, as you are performing this experiment, you have to note precautions, very important. And these precautions we talk about, whether you are asked to include your precautions or not, whatever experiment you perform in physics, if you are not told, know it now, that you have to put precautions, you take note of why work performing that experiment. And so, at least two precautions have to be worth noted that. So, one of the precautions I'm giving you for this experiment is to make sure that your angle of displacement, the angle, look at the rope, the angle you have to displace the bulb, pendulum bulb, so that it will be moving to and fro. You make sure that that angle is very small. That is what we say, less than 10 degrees. To tell you it's very small. So that once it is very small, it will be able to be moving to and fro slowly. And you'll be able to get your 20 oscillation accurately. Noted? So you say, care was taken, but why displace my angle? By what? Displacing it at very small angle. Care was taken while well, displaced my work, pendulum bulb, by ensuring that it is displayed at very small angle, so as to minimize what error. Yes, because when you're able to get the exact time, you are minimizing error. Another, another precaution you can talk about in this experiment is that the doors and windows and electric fan were what? Switch off. You close your windows, you lock your door, you switch off the what electric fan so as to reduce air resistance. Once the air is interfering in the experiment, it will affect the time you have to get for your work result. Are you getting it? It will affect it. And you have to also note again that meter rule was used. So error due to parallax is also avoided by making sure that I take my reading vertically downwards from the meter rule. You know that one? This this clamping of this point, so at this point we oscillate. I make sure that this thread is clamped tightly on this edge of this so as to what? Enable this to what? Oscillate perfectly. Are you getting it? So you have plenty of errors to um, precautions to what? Talk about in this experiment. Now this is a stopwatch and this is the last extension that we we'll talk about. Now, this, the essence of performing this experiment is to teach you how to run this experiment without touching apparatus. Yes, we want to see how to do it without touching apparatus. That means we will not be posting this full video in the in Chidon's Daniel YouTube account. I get it. We will be posting it on the Chidon's Academy practice. That is where the full video will be posted. And so, feel free to type the Children's Academy Practice on YouTube so that you watch the full video for this experiment. As you watch and enjoy it, feel free to click like, comment, share to your friends, and finally, which is very important, please click subscribe so that you promote our channel to go far. Okay?